Hi, I'm Mix Wizard. In this video, I will show you in four minutes or less how to get your Preasonus add-on controller working with Ableton Live 10. Let's get into it. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time watching. First, you want to make sure you have the latest version of Ableton Live downloaded. 10.1.5 is the latest version at the time of the recording of this video. Second, you want to make sure that you have Adam's firmware up to date. Use your Universal Control app to update all your Preasonus hardware. Third, you want to make sure that you go into Ableton Preference and make sure that your Adam controller is selected like you see on the screen now. And there is a bonus tip. If you was wondering if your Push 2 could work alongside the Adam controller in Ableton Live 10, the answer is yes, it can. Here's a quick demo of me using both controllers inside of Ableton Live 10.1.5. Same controllers, I mean same buttons. So let's go. And you can come over here to the push and do the same thing. There you have it. It's your boy Mix Wizard. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Hmm. Yeah. Good hmm. job. Good job. I got it. <laughs> yes, great! Shall